the share of the BTC invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of my president, General Sam Bakir I greet you all. I fully agree with the previous speakers. This is the event look is small, but this is very important uh, event. Uh, to have the first refinery, gold refinery in the Republic of South Sudan is not any small uh, uh, event, especially to to our youngsters. Uh, let me not also forget to greet also our friend, our new friend, the uh, the consul of the Egyptian uh, embassy, who oh, Hagiga Ten Hafid Reis Sadat. Uh, this is a very important event and I'm very happy uh, the acting uh, under Secretary of Minister of Mining summarizes the problem that is going to face BTC in the business. The problem will be lack of uh, supply of gold. Not because we don't have alluvial gold in South Sudan. I happen to, uh, you know, I'm privileged today, you know, also uh, God work in many ways. It was not planned that I come and officiate this event. The vice president for uh, economic cluster was supposed to come and do the uh, uh, to officiate this event, but because I have a long history in gold, alluvial gold in South Sudan, I think that's why uh, God cho cho have chosen me to come and do this uh, officiation. Let me let me tell you my experience. I agree with the under secretary of uh, Minister of Mining. After we captured Kapoita, I was put to be the commander of Kapoita by late John Garan. And uh, we had a problem to make the market work in the town of Kapoita. Our border was Kenya, there were no roads. Uh, we don't have currency to buy commodities from uh, Lodwar. And people were not, were, also we didn't have currency to buy gold from the local the local miners. So, uh, I decided to go to more to go uh, washing myself. I know how to wash gold. This gold, huh? I know how you can see from my hand. This is how they uh, they do it, washing the alubia. There's a senior uh, officer in the our national security. Uh, Anyar is called Bong Anyar. He's a general in the security. He was my lieutenant officer in the in Kapoita, in charge of uh, military intelligence. There was another officer called Mario. I don't know Mario who. He's a Taposa. I told them, look, we have to we have to produce gold so that we sell gold to Kenyan. So that we buy salt because we have problem of salt. We don't have salt and salt can be hardened to delay the liberation of South Sudan. Actually, we are used to be challenged by South Sudanese. You want to liberate us from uh, from Sudan, uh, where will you get salt? One problem. It will give a million million. But then I give a million million. Because I'm going to give a million million. 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 Those were the two challenges, million million, fananin million. So we had a problem of not having salt in Kapoita, and we have no currency to, to sell. I tell you, we managed to produce gold at a place called Nagnak. That's a core, a small core just close to Kapoita. We produced some uh, small gold from Nagnak, and I sent this bomb, Mamario, to, to Lodwa. They went on put. Actually, up to uh, almost up to Lodwa. Then they went and brought some commodities. 
we open a cooperative. Now we start negotiating with the gold producers. Look, if you don't want to sell gold to, to bring, come and open a shop in Kapoita. Sell your gold to Uganda, to Kenya, but bring cooperatives to, uh, to, uh, to, to Kapoita. We did not stop there. I remember we produced one kilo of gold. One kilo of gold. And we gave it uh, to Lady Sir John. He took it somewhere. Let me not say somewhere. He took it somewhere. And that somewhere brought us a very strong relationship between the Kajon because of that gift. We were supplying ammunition the first time from that direction. The first time we were supplying uh, ammunition. So uh, it is not going to be an easy thing, the supply of gold, because there are cartels in those areas. Fi mafia fi mala de lado. Fi mafia mafia da mainly Somalis. Let me be clear. Mainly Somalis. They are a problem. They are the ones selling gold to our gold to Kenya and Uganda. There will be big problem. When you want to buy gold from that, they will increase the price. Nera mar fi mi jibo guri minwe ne te mal bordo begaselo. They may be doing uh, money laundering in those places. This will be the first problem that will face uh, BTC. But you will defeat them because you have the law in your hand. You are officially investing in South Sudan. They, if they want to invest in South Sudan, let them come on board to do their refinery. We don't, we don't have problem with them. But for them to sell our gold to Uganda and Kenya and re-export it, as if that gold is producing, in Kenya actually export a lot of gold. They produce a lot of gold, they export a lot of gold in Kenya, even Uganda. Not from their country, maybe from uh, DRC Congo, from South Sudan, and other places. So, Mr. Ramadan, I think you uh, you have something to do now. Be tough on those uh, cartels. Some of them are politicians. Some of them are also highly placed in the government. We are not telling them not to trade in gold. But let them do it illegally so that the government tax them. Our purpose is not to make profit, but is to tax to tax uh, BTC. The more BTC produce gold, the more we tax them, and the more we support our education, we support our uh, other sectors of the uh, of the economy. I agree with the minister of uh, the acting uh, the the, the, the under sector of minister of mining to South Sudan. The important uh, sector to us is agriculture. Because actually gold is a depleting resource, just like oil. It will finish one day. But agriculture will never finish. Tourism will never finish. So the most important sector to us is agriculture. We want also Egyptians to invest in agriculture. If you don't want agriculture, at least you have a long history in tourism. Actually, if you go to Cairo, and you get the Egyptian how they are making use of the Nile, not only for irrigation, but tourism. Yeah. Bring those uh, tourist companies to Juba, come and start in Juba, in tourism. The Nile is here. You can make a lot of investment here, by the way, in, in the area of tourism. Last year I was discussing with the Egyptian, with uh, the French ambassador. The French ambassador encouraged me that, look, let your government support tourism. And he told me the tourists are not outside South Sudan. They are here in South Sudan. He told me, you do know how many embassies here in Juba? And they don't have any recreation areas to go to. European embassies here in Juba. Those who like uh, to do uh, some kind of creation. How many employees of the, of the UN? So I'm giving this information to Egyptians that look, the tourists are here. The tourists are not in Cairo. They are already here. And these people, they are paid in hard currency. They have a lot of money. Uh, come also into tourism. Now to the young South Sudanese. This is a very important opportunity. You can make yourself small companies 
to cooperate to be suppliers of the uh, of, uh, of the BTC you go and compete with the Somalis because you you, you speak to Posa you speak uh, uh, the, the, the Dinga language you speak barrier you come from there your people if you have the money your people will, will sell gold to you then selling it to, to Somalis. So you go into this business. Form yourself into small companies. Go to Kapoita. Go to Lebanon. Go to uh, Shukudum. To those places where the gold is being mined now. Last week I was seeing a, a video. Social media. I think many of you have seen it. Sudanese militia are producing a lot of gold from uh, Raja. And they are taking it to Sudan. I trust many, some of you may have seen this. I hope, uh, uh, Allah, you have seen it. The Raja, militia, producing a lot of gold and they are taking it to they are taking it road to Sudan. This is South Sudanese uh, South Sudanese gold. I trust this this company will grow. Uh, the production of course, the company is big where they came from. They have a lot of experience, but uh, now according to the manager, he said that maybe they are getting. Uh, one kilo or less than one kilo a day during the dry season but I trust that very soon they will grow they will have a lot of supplies uh, there are a lot of gold in South Sudan for your information and this man from mining no the biggest gold mines in Congo in DRC Congo they are just close to the border to the western part of South Sudan the biggest gold mine in DRC Congo they are just close to our western border the big gold mines that are being developed in Ethiopia, they are also very close to our eastern border of South Sudan. Nowhere in this universe that God can give gold to the Congolese just into our border and denying us gold. And also to the Ethiopian, just close to us and denying us gold. Actually to us, I was a minister of, uh, of my, uh, mining uh, for, for a number of uh, months. And they were, they were actually making me a geologist, especially the current under secretary, my good friend. Uh, I was told by them that the bigger potential of gold in South Sudan is in Buma Palato. The Buma Palato, not Kapoita, it's not Lobonok, it's not, uh, and maybe in Western Equatoria. So BTC, you support young South Sudanese, give them loans. Uh, you try with some of them, give them loan, they go to the periphery, and instead of you waiting, Mata uh, Tazar and Gold Fish, Shibak there may be Somalina, I feel like. You attack them where they are, not fighting, but compete with them where they are, use South Sudanese. And TLD they themselves also decide to use South Sudanese, so that they can compete with you. Uh, let me say again, congratulations. Mubruk Ali, the Colonel, the Force of Mumtaza, the Force of Azima. Uh, Al Sharkada uh I tower uh Zay Magalu given under secretary of uh, mining. I think let the investor not to, to avoid mining to where they will be advised. Because the mining they have they have all the they know the potential of South Sudan. Like now he talk about tourism, I talk about tourism. Not many South Sudanese knows that tourism is the best uh, potential that we have. We just think about oil, uh, maybe agriculture. But tourism is just the one that shall compete with the agriculture and uh, because it is also not a depleting resource. And uh, you know also we are the second largest uh, in terms of animal immigration after Kenya. After Serengeti, uh, our park, uh, here in uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Boom and uh, Central Equatoria, is the second largest we have the second year largest of animal immigration after Kenya. You know also we have the Nile. Here's the water come for them. Uganda water come from uh, uh, Rwanda, from Kenya. But they don't have the Nile. The Nile is with us. This Nile also is a very huge potential in terms of transport and uh, tourism. Once again, I say the Wonson, the Echo of BTC, the South Sudanian, Kassan and Shabab. Make use of this. You go and start my idea, you Shabab. Make your business proposal. Discuss with BTC. I know you don't have the capital. 
But BTC, they have the capital. Let them give you loan. You can buy gold from where BTC cannot go. El Mandis of Kawaja must have done that. Marvin the Gopsi, El Rabat with her Taposa is very wash. Lakin Ahuna Ahmed Ahmed Haikel Ahmed Haikel and Musasmur. By the way, who are now your main for Kapoita? He spent two days, and you know Ahmed Haikel is very big, he's a big person. Your main for Kapoita, Wamal Madrasa, later Taposa. He built a school for for Taposa. So, El Mandis of Mosulin can go to those areas. They are also good for tourism. You will see a lot of uh, funny things. There are other things, the, uh, the, the, the rare stones, not only gold, there are stones that you can also discover that are also valuable. Uh, valuable. Uh, let me stop here. Mabruk Adena. Namshu Lekidak. Mshukrat.